Hello Libra, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this, this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Libra from the 25th to the 31st of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch the Moon and Rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, please go to my website to book a reading. I put my details in the description box. And I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so the first card is healing. And this is healing, healing from an old uh, injury. And it says it's time for now mental, physical and soul healing. So you need to seek some solitude, nurture yourself, rest and let yourself heal. And uh, it says once again the doorways will be open in your life. So you are going through a healing phase right now. And you do need to take some time to yourself. It says, be alert. You might find yourself a victim of another person's jealousy or dishonesty. So be alert. The situation calls for clarity. Pay attention to the details. So whoever you have been dealing with has been very um, jealous or very dishonest. And you need to be alert not to get involved in that situation or with that person again. And at the bottom, you've got temptation. At this time, you will be tempted to take a risk or spend money you cannot afford. Or you might become attracted to a person who is married or committed Avoid temptation at this time. So just keep everything in check. Watch your money, watch your spending, and don't get involved in relationships uh, that um, are not good for you, really. This is what it is advising. So in the past, you've got the fool over here that says something going on in your life that is so obvi obvious and you are ignoring impending danger. You could be, it could be emotional or physical danger. So wake up and do not be a fool. Danger is near. So there was some kind of situation that is quite difficult that you've been dealing with. Uh, maybe you've been a bit reckless in the past. So that looks like there's a past energy of recklessness over here. And you were needed to actually take note and be alert of what was going on. And the card immediately above it, you know, the next card from us, is the be alert. So whatever reckless behavior you've been doing, you know, maybe not uh, tending to your personal safety, you really do need to look after yourself and be alert in this situation. So going into the future, you've got the battle card over here. At this time, battle with a loved one or a friend could indicate struggle in a career or a job may lead to an ending. Counseling might be needed and possibly a battle with oneself. Seek peace through prayer or meditation. So you are involved in some kind of difficult situation with somebody. You are still having uh, problems with this person. You could even be having difficulties within your career where people are um, acting as obstacles to you and you're having to fight to get your, your, uh, your message across. Uh, if you're going through a very difficult situation and you're having problems sorting it out, you, need, you might need to seek some counseling. And, um, you know, take some time out, uh, meditate, rest, maybe take a little bit of a holiday as well. So you are going through a healing phase. You are still dealing with uh, difficult people and you need to take some time off for yourself. So I'm just going to draw the, um, some cards from the Tarot Apocalypse and... Um, Apocalypsis. <laughs> okay. Apocalypsis <laughs> Tarot. <laughs> Um, and let's see what's going on. I have mis been mispronouncing that word the whole day today. Okay, let's see. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Swords. So there is some kind of crossroads in your life that you are reaching. There might be a legal struggle that you're going through. You need to actually um, be very, very uh, cunning, uh, very strategic very smart when you're making these decisions. This could be a legal decision that is pending and you're waiting for that to come through. But whatever you do in that situation, you have to be extremely logical and uh, not get emotional about it and do your research very carefully. You've got the cross swords over here, so there might be a breakdown of communication with somebody. Maybe you're trying to cut somebody out of your life um, because of, you know they've... Um, caused a heartbreak situation or you might be dealing just dealing with a, um, a legal situation uh, where you have to make some kind of decision or a decision is pending make sure you're thinking very logically and seek advice if you do need um, to do something so just don't wing it make sure you're very very logical and very deliberate in what you do 
You got the five of swords. So whatever situation it is, is a very nasty situation. You've got uh, you know the five of swords is about deception, deceit, people taking advantage of you, uh, people winning, people making you feel very small and insignificant. Um, you know people humiliating you, and you know there's a lot of drama that comes over here. This might also be a situation because it's a swords card. You know Libra um, is the sign that. Is, is part of the sword suit but also this could be you know legal situations that you're dealing with where you think you're winning and you aren't because somebody else has said something that was uh, you know based on lies and that is how they get the upper hand so you know you might be feeling as though the, you know they're defeating you so whatever this decision is that you have to make and it have, if it involves it might involve money because you've got the king of pentacles over here so you might be take, being taken advantage um on the money front as well um, maybe somebody around you is, um, you know, um, stealing from you or whatever this case is that you are dealing with this legal situation might be something that involves money and a payoff. And maybe, you know, they're lying about whatever's happened uh, in order for them to win that situation. So whatever this is, involves seems to be, uh, um, you know, um, revolving around money. And it looks like there's a lot of lies and deceit. So watch out that you don't lose out. So make sure that you are doing your research um, and, and, you know, getting expert advice if you need to, to sort that situation out. You've got the Tower card over here. And this has happened in the last year. So something really big, dramatic, awful has happened. And it's caused a lot of loss. And this card is usually about financial loss as well. So something very dramatic has happened. Uh, you might have been thrown out of the house you're living in or even lost your job. It's caused a lot of chaos and a lot of drama um, and, uh, you know, a lot of loss, um, you know, financial loss, material loss, even a loss of reputation. You know, you could be have been demoted. It was something that was very sudden and it seems like it was a series of events that happened that led up to this uh, moment. So this has happened in the last year. You are going, you have just gone through that devastation. You've got the three, two of pentacles over here. So this is the two of pentacles. And this particular deck, which is a really nice multicultural deck, uh, they've got this uh, Shiva Lingam stone over here. Now, Shiva was the dog, the god of um, destruction. Um, and here you have this choice. Maybe you'll be offered some kind of new job and it will allow you to um, get over this loss that you have, this destruction that you went through. Whatever new thing is uh, coming in the last three months or new offer, or new option uh, that has come in, or even, you know, um, choosing um, something else, or doing a second job, it's going to help you overcome this kind of situation, move away from it. So it seems like you've been trying to make a decision about which particular job to take. Maybe you've been re reviewing your finances in order to overcome the destruction and the loss that you went through in this last um, few months. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, it looks like there was a separation of finance over here. The Ten of Pentacles is the ending of uh, a financial situation that involves family. So you might have been tied up with somebody on a financial basis, maybe your shared resources, and, you know, you'll have had a breakup. And, you know, because there looks like there's some kind of severing of uh, that relationship there with that uh, Two of Swords. Um, and it looks like this is the thing that has caused um, the end, the Ten of Pentacles, that ending of that financial, um, whatever um, union that you had uh, caused by the tower has caused that financial loss. So it looks like, you know, you're rounding off things, you are ending that financial um, dependence on this particular person. There might also, however, be a payoff that is coming in as well, because the Ten of Pentacles usually talks about money coming in due to legal circumstances, but also severing ties with this person on a financial basis and ending that relationship as well. So, you know, maybe um, um, if you've had a divorce, then your uh, belongings, you're like sharing the resources between the two of you. Um, some kind of legal decision being made about who takes what, really. So, uh, this could well be coming in and maybe that's what this decision is made is about about who gets what maybe you're rounding off affairs really you've got the nine of wands over here so although you're very exhausted about whatever happened you need to stand your ground and stand up for yourself even though the circumstances seem very very difficult this seems to be the last battle that you're facing with this person you can see there's a lot of fire over here so there's been a lot of drama that has been going on over here and you're very exhausted this person's child is on there uh, you know uh, it's on the, he's on the ground so it seems like you know you're trying to um, 
uh, sort through these problems and you're having to deal with a lot of problems coming at you all the time and you're very exhausted and very tired and very defensive as well about the circumstance. Maybe you had to defend yourself against all these legal situations in order for you to even, uh, you know, be able to survive through it after going through all this destruction. You've got the Emperor card of here and this is talking about a judgment coming in. So there seems to be some kind of legal decision that you are waiting for and that will be coming soon. You've got the Moon card over here. So this is talking about, uh, you can see this is a very dangerous card. You've got all these rot filers over here and there's a lot of chains and there's a lot of fire. Uh, you know, things are being kept in the dark. So there's a lot of secrets that have been kept and there's a lot of lies and deception that you are dealing with at this particular moment. This woman's even got this um, snake wrapped around her hand. So whoever you're dealing with is very, very toxic. They're very nasty and it looks like they won't... Um, hold back from using any kind of means to get their way. So you are dealing with a very, very, very nasty situation. This is probably what you're defending yourself against uh, with this Nine of Wands. Maybe the people don't see how nasty this person is, and you do. And they've caused a lot of problems for you. So you are dealing with that circumstance. Um, you know, um, you're trying to get through it. It's, it's a very dangerous circum situation to be in. Because it's already caused you quite a bit of loss with this tower card, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whoever you are dealing with. So you are needing to tread very carefully. Uh, know that, you know, uh, make sure that you're keeping all your secrets. It's also, you know, the moon card is about uh, causing confusion and it's also about depression as well. So you might not even be sleeping well at night um, because of all that is going on that is not really uh, savory. It's not very honest. It's not an honest, open situation. A very toxic, nasty situation. It seems like, you know, you, this person's got a lot of control. This woman's controlling these rot pilots. So wherever this person is that you're dealing with has a lot of control over the circumstance. And maybe this is why, you know, with the Five of Swords, it's about feeling defeated uh, in a such a situation, not being able to conquer somebody else getting away with something nasty. But just remember, there's always divine justice around. So uh, karma comes along and it does help out. So, you know, even if it is a circumstance that you can't seem to get um, the upper hand over, um, you know, eventually that person will get what is due to them as well. So just be aware of that. As long as you're working from a place of honesty and openness, uh, you know, karma will come in and play its role over here. So you are dealing with a very difficult person or a very difficult, uh, nasty, deceptive situation. So be aware. Keep all your secrets to yourself. Don't uh, give anybody any information that will give them victory over you. So the Seven of Wands over here is standing up for yourself in a very difficult situation, despite what everybody else thinks. So this person's holding up this. This is a snake uh, they've got um, so you you are standing up against this person and uh, defending yourself and standing up for your ground. You know you are right in it and you are taking control of that situation. With the seven of swords, uh, uh, seven of wands, you know it is winning in a situation that is very difficult and having the upper hand, but having that courage uh, to stand up against that person despite what everybody else says around you. So just hang in there. You've got the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles over here. So the Six of Cups is, you know, um, maybe you're dealing whatever the circumstance is. It might involve a lot of children. So this might be a family situation. Uh, and, you know, you might be uh, trying to sort out, um, you know, um, how you deal with the children. Um, and it, it's also, you know, where you get a needing to, you might need to actually go to somebody in your past uh, from your childhood, maybe you know, friend, family member, somebody to ask for some advice on how to deal with it, how to deal with this difficult situation. So you need to get some advice from somebody uh, that you know who you grew up with, uh, maybe a sibling, somebody that comes in to give you some kind of help, some kind of advice. There is an offer of help as well with the Six of Cups. So there might be somebody around you that brings in you, somebody that you knew from your childhood or you bump into somebody from your childhood who gives you that advice that you need in order to um, win or, or deal with the circumstance. You've got the five, three of pentacles over here. Uh, so this is now going back to focusing on your work. Uh, you know, that seems to be going fine. Uh, with the three of pentacles, it's, you know, uh, if you're worried about work or worried about not having a job, it seems like that is stable uh, and money will be coming in from your work uh, situation. Um, you might even be working for, with somebody from your childhood, you know, an old friend. But definitely there is that stability with that three of pentacles uh, in your job situation. Now you've got the five of pentacles over 
here. So whatever the circumstances is, it looks like you're going to have to move away from that loss. Whatever you're going through has caused a lot of financial problems. Maybe this is why you have to work so hard in order to, um, you know, make ends meet and to um, gather your resources again. With the Five of Pentacles, it's just watching your money very carefully, watching your resources very carefully. It looks like there's somebody there to help you. You might need to even seek some financial help. Um, maybe you need to ask from a, of, uh, for it from a family member uh, to get you through whatever you're going through and you know focus on your work again to make up for all the loss that you've gone through so you are coming through a very very difficult situation it seems you are cutting financial ties with this person but you're still dealing with a lot of problems um but this is now coming to an end with the nine of wands and it looks like you're waiting for some kind of judgment to come through some kind of legal uh, case pending and you're waiting for that judgment make sure you are very strategic in what you do uh, and focus back on your work this is the thing that is going to help you get over the circumstance and if you need financial help you will get it uh, you might need to ask for some help from somebody to deal with the loss that you've gone through now you've got the six of autumn over here which says your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts acquire wise loans and receive a grant of scholarships in return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable um, charities. Now, this is the Six of um, Pentacles, which is showing that, you know, you will receive financial help if you need it. For the Six of Pentacles, there's always a generosity coming in. So if you're going through a lot of loss, especially now with this Five of Five of Pentacles is talking about financial loss. You can see there's somebody helping this person out. So even here with the Six of Autumn, it looks like you will receive money coming in over here when you least expect it. Somebody will come in and help you. And this might be somebody from your family giving you their financial help and assistance that you need. You've got the Seven of Autumn, which says planning of resources and efforts uh, you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have the patience and meditate on your next steps. So whatever um, effort you have put into this um, into your work will pay off. So, you know, you might need just need a you know, bit of financial assistance to tide you through a difficult period and then you will be back again on your feet. So you will get um, you will recover financially from whatever has has happened um, and you've got the star card which says you are about to take a big leap of faith in your life worry will be replaced by optimism fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost now you will eventually be successful from it you will overcome it so you might be going through a little bit of a difficult period right now uh, well a lot of a difficult period not a little this is a big drama that has happened you have a lot of financial issues going on over here, but it looks like eventually uh, you will overcome this. The star card is about hope, but it's also about winning and transforming. So, uh, you know, things will go your way. And you can see there are uh, five st uh, streams over here. So you will get resources coming in maybe from five different sources. So somebody will come in and help you out. The seven of autumn is, you know, just hang in there, uh, you know, Anything that you've invested as far as, far as time, effort, energy into uh, whatever the situation was, you will get a payoff from it. So money will, um, you know, come into your arena and um, just focus on your work. You will get that help and assistance you need when you need it the most um, uh, and uh, you will be able to come overcome this difficulty because you've got the star card over here. This is about guidance and, uh, you know, divine intervention in a difficult situation. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.